Hey girl, I'm back with another video. Um, I wanted to pop in real quick just to show y'all my favorite deep conditioners that I'm using right now. So like for the past, I guess maybe the past couple months, these are the deep conditioners that I've been having in rotation. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the ones that I'm grabbing the most because every time I wash my hair, I do deep conditioning. I wash my hair probably on like a weekly basis at this point, week and a half or whatever. And I am deep conditioning with every wash. I was like that when I had longer hair. Like I'm just, if I don't do no other step, like deep conditioning for me, it's just, it's not an option. It's non-negotiable. Like that has to be in my wash routine. It's a lot easier now. Doesn't take as much time and effort now because I have shorter hair, which is even better. But like, that's a step that, sis, I ain't missing it. You know what I'm saying? So these are the deep conditioners that I'm kind of grabbing for the most um, as of recently. And I just wanted to kind of let y'all know what it is. So... So these deep conditioners are not in any specific price range order or whatever like that. So I'm just kind of just picking them up as I have them sitting right here next to me. So the very first one is this Garnier Whole Blends. I think it's like Honey Treasure or something like that. Yeah, Honey Treasures Repairing Mask. I'm um, hoping that y'all can see this real good. I know my light is kind of like bright, but so I kind of just pick this one up one day oh child there we go so i kind of just picked this one up one day on a whim and i was pleasantly surprised um i think i got it from walmart but i know they sell it at target i've seen it at publix i've seen it um that might be the only few places that i've seen it that i can remember but if you see this if you haven't tried it this is definitely worth a try it's at Walmart, I think it's no more than five dollars, maybe no more than six. But this is a really good um deep conditioner to have just kind of like at your fingertips and your hair stash or whatever, because it doesn't take long for it to penetrate your hair, at least for myself. And I have thicker hair, so it doesn't take it long for it to penetrate my strands or whatever. I literally just put it on kind of you know, I do my detangling thing. Sometimes I might leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes with a, um, with a cap. Sometimes I just go ahead and detangle it real good. Maybe no more than a, about five minutes and then I'm rinsing it out. And I still can tell the difference in my hair. So this is definitely something that I keep in rotation. I typically pick it up when I'm like running out. I'll make sure I grab another one when I'm in the store. And I'm telling y'all, it's, it's definitely worth it. So this next one is from Allocate Naturals. It's the Honey and Sage, Sage, if I can talk today, the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. And this is one of my newer ones. I actually had two. The other one, Kylie and I ran through. And then this is my second one. I just took the top off so y'all can see it. But it literally has like herbs in it that you can see. For sure, you can see the sage. So it has, hmm, honey, Babasu oil and sage and I love the fact that you can see the sage in here I love the fact it smells like to me it smells like a a baked good like it smells like a bread or like something delectable like that but it smells so good it's very pleasant it's very for it to have herbs in it it's not like over you know overly pungent or anything like that it's just nice and soft. Um, it does work well in my hair. As a matter of fact, I, when Kylie and I did a video together, I used this as our deep conditioner. And that was um, my first time using it. And so from then, I find myself just kind of like um, replenishing it. Replenishing it. So this would be my third bottle. I mean, my third jar. Because they gave, me, gave us one. Then I purchased another one. Then this is my third one. So this is my second time purchasing it. And... I just like it. It's a really easy mask to work through. I have thicker hair, as I've mentioned, but I don't really like masks that are so thick that you have to, like, work it through. And, like, it just takes so much effort just to get it to do its thing. So I typically will lean towards either the thinner ones that work very well on my hair um, texture or even if they are a little bit thicker, it doesn't take long for them to do what they're supposed to do. Like, I ain't got that kind of time to be deep conditioning all day. That's why I cut my hair because mama got other things to do and hair all day ain't on the list. So, 
Again, the LK Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner is most definitely worth your time. Another deep conditioner um, that I have been picking up is this Ozzy Moist Three Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. This is the one with avocado oil in it. Um, sorry, with avocado and Australian jojoba oil. And the first time I used this uh, brand was years ago. Like when I first went natural years ago, I don't remember it having avocado oil or jojoba oil in it. It just was the three minute miracle deep conditioner mask or whatever. And it's super cheap. Like it's super affordable. I For this, I got it at Target and I think it was like $5 something like that. But that's because this is the bigger size. Like this is the pump because I found myself kind of continuing to buy the regular one that kind of squeezes out. And so I picked this one up and it's been lasting me for a good bit, especially since my hair is shorter. So it's been lasting me for a good bit. It's a, um, the consistency of it is probably on the thinner side, but it works through my hair very well, very easy, makes the tangling a breeze for both Kylie and myself. And Kylie has um, a looser texture than I do. Her hair is much thinner. Mine is thicker and the texture is more coarse. So it works for both of us very well. Makes the tangling very, very easy. Um, this, as com compared to the old one, mm, I don't see much of a difference because I enjoy them both. So I have honestly not even seen the one that didn't have the avocado in it before. If it did have avocado, I just didn't notice it. But now, like, all of them have this picture of the avocado on the front. And it says... Um, with avocado and the Australian jojoba oil. All of them say that now. I hadn't noticed it before, but it's very pleasant to use, super easy, worth having your fingers on. These next two deep conditioners, my last two, I saved the best for last, just so you are aware, okay? So this Mayel Babasu Oil Deep Conditioner, I used it recently in my Wash and Go Coils video, whatever it was, just know, even when I'm not filming, I'm using this stash of stuff here. Like I'm, like I said before, I'm tending to gravitate toward these. But even when I'm not using this Mayel, I'm thinking about this Mayel. Like this is like my ultimate favorite deep conditioner. Oh my God. It's very minty. It has like a minty... Um, feeling when you put it in your hair i wish i could show y'all child i don't even know how many of these i don't bought at this point i wish i had some stock in it i wish i was a brand ambassador because first of all i believe in this stuff so much i'm always buying it i'm always trying to find a way oh when is it on when is it on sale where can i get it um you know i try to buy multiple at a time so i like to save as much money as i can so you know if y'all know the CEO of my L tell her to holler at me. I would love to be a brand ambassador. Like I would love to to root and push sales for this product because it is so amazing. It's it is very thin. So for mm, y'all not really able to see it with this light, but as thin as this product is, um it does amazing. Like it is so freaking amazing. It's really thin but it melts into my hair like butter. It takes no effort. Literally, I can just put it in my hair and just kind of work it in, you know, with my fingers and it doesn't take much at all. And it works wonders. Like it, I don't, this is, I don't have to sit this on for a long time and like do the whole plastic cap and go do my stuff. Like I literally detangle my hair at the sink put my deep conditioner in at the sink, unless I got other things that I need to do like in that moment. But for the most part, like that's probably why I love these, all these deep conditioners so much because it doesn't take much for them to do what they're supposed to do. And I deep condition underneath the sink um, when I'm washing my hair and I'm detangling and things like that. I do what I got to do and I'm, a, I'm about it up. Okay. So this here, this Baba suit and mint, oh my goodness. Like it's just so awesome. And now, just so you know, this is a protein deep conditioner. Out of all of them, this is the only one I believe that has protein in it. So I also gravitate towards this one because I know that because my hair is color treated, 
I do need to do my due diligence and make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as far as keeping it strong, keeping it healthy and things like that. And um, because I wash my hair so often as well, too, like I wash it on a weekly basis. So that manipulation, I also need to make sure that my hair can withstand that by deep conditioning and using a protein treatment or deep conditioner, you know, at some point while I'm washing, you know, but I really don't have to like stay on top of my routine to make sure I'm like, you know, getting protein and making it stronger and this and that with protein. I know some people may be protein sensitive. I am not. So just keep that in mind when you buy this. But um, I don't have to too much like keep it in my mind. Let me make sure I get my protein in my hair or X, Y, Z, because I'm always using this. You know, this is one of the ones I'm using frequently. So I get what I need to get out of this jar. This final favorite deep conditioner of mine. Whew. So how can I put this? If Jesus himself was to come down and hand deliver me a deep conditioner, it would be this guy. Like this Mish, um, I think this is the Indulge, yeah, this Indulge deep conditioner, because they have two. They have the Indulge, which doesn't contain any protein. It's moisturizing. And then they have another one that does have, um, it does have protein in it, but this one does not. This, y'all, first of all, Can we just take a moment of silence for the scent, just for how it smells? Bruh, this smells so good. It smells like all of the candies that smell the best to you together. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's like a Jolly Rancher. It's like fruity but it's not too much it's not too strong of a scent it and it doesn't linger after you rinse it out this deep conditioner is so moisturizing it does not take much for me um to use it i get about about three uses out of this i can probably get about three uses out of a jar um and the it's probably like three and change so i'll probably get like three uses myself and then Maybe Kylie will get like a use on it because her hair is thinner, so I don't have to use as much on her hair. Um, so I'm never just throwing a jar away to have like a corner in it. Oh no, 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 sis. We're we're scraping the bottom. Okay. I don't I don't play that. So it's really moisturizing. It revives my curls so well, especially if my curls are needing like, you know, some extra oomph or whatever. If I'm noticing like my hair is dull. Um, because my deep conditioning step is so important to me, like I have to make it count, you know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, when I use this product, I can tell the difference. I can feel the difference without residue or anything like that. Once I rinse it out, um, my curls are just, they are on pop. Like they are alert, baby. They looking at you before you can look at them. My curls like, what's up? <laughs> Fresh out. What's up? Like. Oh my God, they put their heart, soul, pinky toe, foot, baby, anything. They left kidney, they put everything in this deep conditioner. And I'm so grateful for it. Like, look at this. This also has bottle suit oil in it. I think I might be like, that might be something that I gravitate towards. Because this has raw honey and bottle suit oil in it. And you know, the Mayel had the bottle suit oil in it as well. But baby. If you can get your hands on this, I would advise that you would. They are only online, to my knowledge. I haven't seen them in any stores. They're only online. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. I don't even know what else to tell you besides the fact that, bae, it, it, it's bae. It's, it's hair bae, just so you know. So that concludes this video. These right here are my current favorites right now, the deep conditioners that I am using the most. Um, if you haven't used any of these, tell me in the comment section like what you waiting for, if you never heard of them or anything like that. If you have used them, let me know in the, in the comment section, how did you like them? What was your experience? Y'all, I cannot forget to ask y'all to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I am almost at 10K. Like, that would mean everything to me. I know that might not be a big deal to some people, but for me, it's been a long time coming. And I would really love it if I could be at, you know, 10K and just continue this journey and continue to move on. 
I have set some goals for myself and I have been practicing consistency and I really have a lot of content written down that I would like to bring to you guys and I'm working on that. I'm working on just kind of being more consistent, showing up and doing things that I really enjoy to do on my channel. And so I would appreciate if you guys would come along for the journey with me. And I'm just humbly asking you guys to subscribe. That's pretty much what it is. Like, I want y'all to be here with me. You get what I'm saying? So like this video, subscribe, go check my other videos out. If it's anything that you have not seen on my channel or you think would fit my channel, you know, with hair, different looks, whatever, um, let me know in the comment section if it's something that you would like to see me do or something, some product lines that are coming out, you kind of want me to review them or whatever, just let me know. Because although, like I said, I do have content that I want to bring, I also want to be open to some things that you guys would like to see. So that concludes this video again, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.